hold the door, hold the door. Who knew these words would still be stuck with me until this day? Who knew these words are what have kept me alive and standing in front of you all? Now you're probably really confused. Let me help. Imagine a beautiful morning with the sun shining. Imagine going to the spa. Now imagine being scared for your life. One peaceful afternoon, my mom and I went out for a spa treatment. My mom was happy. Suddenly, we heard a loud bang outside, and trust me, it was really loud. My mom got scared, but I didn't think much of it. The workers at the spa quickly shoved us all in the bathroom. They told my mom and another lady to hold the door handle really tight. It was at that moment when I realized it was serious. We heard more sounds of guns firing all around us. I was scared for my life. How could a seven-year-old not be scared in such a situation? Our peace was gone. This was war. How do you feel when you hear the word war? When I hear the word war, I think about pain and suffering. Then I picture tanks, bombs, guns, and soldiers. I go a bit deeper and I think about what the soldiers are doing or what they are feeling. War is a negative thing for everyone, not just the people of the country. According to Brown University, over 7,000 U.S. service members and over 8,000 contractors have died in the post-9-11 war, wars. President Kennedy told Americans in June 1963, four, in the final analysis, our most basic common link is that we all inhabit the small planet. We all breathe the same air. We all cherish our children's futures, and we are all mortal. He knew the consequences of war and was willing to find another answer. President Kennedy was a president that definitely did not like war. In 1962, Cuba was threatening the U.S. with nuclear missiles. Kennedy was smart enough not to listen to the threats and eventually made peace with the Cubans. The president recognized the devastating possibility of a nuclear war and publicly agreed to deal in which the Soviets would dismantle the weapon sites in exchange for a pledge from the United States not to invade Cuba. This was a president who served in World War II and knew firsthand the effects of war on people. In order for more people to take the higher road and work, toward, and work towards peace as Kennedy was able to, they need to be better informed. We can't stop a war if people do not know what is going on or people are getting false information. The new Pew Research Center conducted a survey found that those who rely most on social media for political news stand apart from other news consumers. This means that a lot of people follow fake stories and the people that make up those fake stories usually target the people that will follow those fake stories. When people follow misinformation, they may follow a wrong path that can lead to conflict and can steer them away from peaceful solutions. As responsible citizens, people need to follow reliable news sources and be willing to have informed conversations. Leaders need to be more like John F. Kennedy. War is not something we have to go through to find peace. Peace is found when people from all countries come together and bond together. When you bond or connect with someone, you want peace in life. When you want peace in life, you need to stay away from conflicts and make peace for yourself. War is not the key to peace or freedom. Let's get our peace and freedom by educating ourselves, speaking up for things that matter, and stay away from conflicts.